Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. i got a CCNA and CSENT quick quiz here for you on the OSI layer. I'm going to move this screen out of the way in just a moment and have another screen right behind it. There are going to be six terms on there and you need to name the OSI layer with which each of these terms is associated. A quick word here on the screen you're looking at. Thanks so much for making my CCNA 2012 video bootcamp one of the best selling technology courses of 2012 on Udemy. I'm very honored by that. They've got some great courses and thank you again. Now let's head to those terms. Physical addresses, segments, HDLC, frames, frame relay, and cables. And if you want to pause the video and think about it for a moment, that's fantastic, but I'm going to go ahead and give the answers and a real-world exam tip here in just a moment. Going from top to bottom, physical addresses, watch this one, because you've got to be careful with it. it. They don't run at the physical layer of the OSI model. It's real easy to look at that and think that they do. But physical address, that's another name for a MAC address, and that runs at the data link layer of the OSI model. Segments, that's where we're going from top to bottom and we're starting to segment the data, no pun intended, and the segments are where we're gonna find those at the transport layer. Now, HDLC uh, doesn't get much respect in the Cisco world or the CCNA world or the CSENT world for that matter. Uh, because just about all we do with HDLC is know that it's the default encapsulation on a serial interface, and then we usually go ahead and change it uh, for obvious reasons. So, uh, but HDLC does run at the data link layer. Uh, frames, you're going to find those at the data link layer as well as frame relay, uh, because frame relay, of course, is one of the encapsulations we usually use instead of HDLC. Finally, on this particular list, we've got cables, and you might say, well, Chris, that's pretty vague. We have many cables, uh, and we do, but they all run at the physical layer. Anything you can hold in your hand like that, uh, like a cable, is going to be at the physical layer of the OSI model. Now, I put a lot of layer one and layer two topics in on this one, and it's just a real world exam tip. Uh, don't don't out psych yourself on the exam. If you had a question like this and you answer, it's like, well, they can't all be at layer one and layer two. Well, yeah, they could be, except of course segments wasn't. Uh, but just watch that. Don't psych yourself out. If they show you a list of 10 things and you know they're all at the physical and data link layers, then by golly, just make those answers. Make the calls and pass that exam. Thanks for taking today's CCNA and CSENT quick quiz. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA and Udemy part of your CCNA success story.